you know, and that's the problem is, you know, I want to make it so bad that I think it gets in the way of the joy that I bring people. And, oh, you know, you know, I want to make it to the next level and I want to, you know, get that break. And I think that because I don't get that break, it makes me break. <laughs> it's funny, right? And um, I think because I break, you know, um, you know, it it gets in the way of uh, the jolly cat and what he what he's about. And, you know, I mean, the reason why I want to make it, though, is I want the world to experience the jolly cat. You know, I want everyone to, you know, and I want to be able to have a family doing this and, and, and not just be on the streets, you know, and, and all that, you know. But anyway, so that's that, you know. So, um, I'm excited, you know, about trying to get in SAG and, um, you know, so if I join SAG, I really think I'm going to be really happy, you know, and, uh, I hope to God I get to go to there every day and practice and learn and meet people and go to the studios. And I really hope that inspires me to not only entertain, but to do it in a pure and great way to be, to bring you people watching and beyond something entertaining and something insightful at the same time, you know, and that's really my goal, you know, and I hope and I pray that I get there and, you know, pray for me, you know, that I, that I go in God's way. And, and if you need prayer, of course, let me know and I'll be praying for you, you know. Um, so, if, you know, thank you guys for always praying for me. I know I always post prayers on the Facebook and, you know, a lot of you, you know, do pray for me and I thank you. You know, I thank you for those prayers. Um, I need them right now more than ever, you know. So thank you again. Adding my lemon water. <laughs> so I'm tired. Yesterday I got like three hours sleep and it was broken sleep. So I slept like a half hour, I slept like one hour, then I slept like a half hour, it was crazy, so I was mad tired. Then last night I think I got like five hours. So, well, this morning, you know, whatever. So, you know, um, wasn't enough. Uh, what are you gonna do? So anyway, before I go, I thank you for the people watching, and um, I hope you guys got something. Thank you for allowing me to express myself, and uh, yeah, I guess I'll end with, you know, the plea for SAG, because I'm going to post it in a few minutes, you know, if you guys can give. Um, it's not just for me, it's for the cause, it's for the message, it's um, for, to bring something better to the world and the people. And um, it's also for the Jolly Cat and for his message and love. And um, you know that it would give me a lot of hope in my life right now and that um, you know I don't have a lot of things right now going for me per se, but a lot of it's my fault, I admit. So you know, just know that also if you gave that it would give me a little bit of hope um, to joining SAG, you know, would really be something right now that I can use in my life, you know, um, to inspire me to do something, you know, for you guys. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys will see good works in the future, um, you know. And, um, you know, I say it again, you know, whether it's um, five bucks, two bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, you know, 100 bucks, if you can give, you know, more, you know, God bless you, you know, but again, don't feel that if you only have five or 10, that it's a slap in the face to me. Maybe there's a couple of you, you know, that feel that way. Well, if we only give him five, 10 bucks, you know, he's going to look at us like, come on, you know, you, you know, that's, that's nothing. No, it's actually something, and I said it before and I'll say it again, by giving five or ten dollars, not only does that add to the amount, but then it will inspire other people to perhaps give five or ten dollars. And then when you add that all up, you get a few people, 30, 40, 50 bucks, that adds up. So 
by you giving something, it inspires maybe a few others who didn't want to give to give something. So don't feel that any amount is too low. Any amount would be a blessing. And maybe the other reason why you don't want to give a low amount is because you might think, um, well, if I give a low amount, I look cheap or I look broke and people, other people are going to see my name, not just Vinny. Well, you can do it, my friend. Uh, I was about to say his name, and I just realized that he made it anonymous. I can't say his name, but that's exactly it. He gave a nice amount. He gave 50, you know, but maybe to him, he wanted to keep it anonymous for other reasons. I'm not sure why. Um, so you could keep it anonymous. You, there's an option. You know, you don't have to say your name, who you are. And that could be the other reason why maybe some of you don't want to give. Let's be honest. You know, I, my life has been controversial the past few months or more. You know, not only to Jolly Cat, but as Vinny and all this stuff. So maybe a couple of you, I could be wrong here, might be thinking, hey, well, if I give, a few other people are going to think, oh, you support that guy? You support this? What are you, crazy? And even though in your heart you want to give, you want to bless me, you might feel like you might, you know, whether it's people at your church, sounds crazy. You never know. Whether it's people in the community, in the neighborhood, you might think, man, if I give, then people are going to make fun of me or, hey, why'd you give to him? Again, you could keep it anonymous. And if you really want me to know that you gave, you could write me a message. Hey, Vinny, can you just keep it on the down low? You know, uh, I don't want to put it out there into the world that I gave, you know, whatever. Because then other people would want money from me. And then other people will come to me and say, hey, if you gave Vinny, give me. So if you write to me and you say something like that, hey, Vinny, look, I just wanted to give you, but I put it anonymous so other people don't come to me. Fine, I get it. You know what I mean? You know, so you could totally... Just make your donation anonymous. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, I forgot. There was one more thing I had to say. Don't you hate when that happens, when you have something to say and you forget? What was I saying? I was saying, hold on. I, sometimes when that happens, I don't know about you guys, but you got to retract. It's like when you lose something. I don't know if you guys do the same thing. You lose something, you got to retract your steps. So I've got to retract what I was thinking and planning on saying. So, because I totally forgot the next thing I was going to say. Not that it's that important, I don't think. But so I was saying, you can give anonymously, um, and you can still let me know. Oh, okay. Here's the next thing I was going to say. You know, or if you give anonymously, and you don't even want me to know, because then you might think this is where it gets really psychological. You might think, well, yeah, but then if I tell Vinny that I don't want people to know that I'm giving him, he might get offended. He might be like, oh, what are you ashamed of me? So you might think, man, I don't even want to let Vinny know I gave. And then you might think, so it get really psychological. You might think, well, if I put an anonymous donation and Vinny doesn't even know I gave to him, then I'm not getting any credit from nobody, not even from Vinny. So why am I going to give? And let's be honest, as humans, I was talking about before in entertainment, why are we doing it? The motivations, we're not perfect, but we try to be better through God's help. When we give, it's easier said than done. We want to give because God sees. And we want to give because we want to give and want to see people happy. So... I know it's easier said than done, but if you feel that this is something, whether you prayed about it, you know, I could say to you guys, pray about it, because I have confidence that this is God's will, the vision he's given me and what I do, so pray about it. And if you honestly feel that God's put on your heart to give me a small or big donation, whether you want people to know it or you want to put anonymous, for whatever your personal reasons are, go ahead and do it for God's glory if you don't want me to know. But I'm just saying, for those of you that don't want me or people to know, you can still do it for his glory and know that you're making me happy and um, and bringing somebody joy. Um, or you can just let me know that you did it and put your name and put, hey, hey, Vinny, it's me. I'm giving you 10 bucks. You know, you don't have to keep it anonymous. You can just do it four out of five of the people who already gave. They, Steve Poton's own put his name there. Rick Reed put his name there. Rebecca put her name there. And um, or there's only like think, one anonymous. So. If you want, just go and put your name and who the hell cares? You're helping somebody, you know? Who's going to judge you for that? Because you're trying to help somebody because you believe in what they're doing? Let them judge you, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, that's really it. Um, again, so I repeat again before I go, any amount is really helpful. If you can do two bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever it is, 150 bucks, 300 bucks, whatever you want to give, you know? Um, Hell, you want to put 2000 Because, you know, I need 1000 right now, but altogether I'm going to need $3,000. i am not asking for that because I'm doing that. 
And again, I took it down from a thousand to six because I'm paying the four hundred, and I'm gonna even try to get more.